Hello world and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can plot some graph uh, with Plotly and you can use uh, Dash. So it's a component from um, Plotly. How you make your own uh, fancy and beautiful uh, dashboards. My name is Harris and let's get started. For more tutorials, hit the subscribe button or leave a like comment there. First, I'm going to uh, import um, the libraries like Plotly, um, Plotly graph objects and so on. So all the components who are required for the uh, dash. And then I'm going to load uh, the data set, which looks like this. Um, that I have some values, I have some uh, diet, uh, timestamp and so on. And then I'm trying to plot everything regarding the uh, value here, which you can see here, just some sensor data. I'm going to uh, plot everything. Um, you can also plot it directly with Plotly by using the um, Go figure and um, Plotly um, basic. Then you can just um, plot the signal like this. And you can also use the dash application to make your own uh, dashboards in a um, in a browser which you can just reload or make it in a really nice way and then you can also um, you know show it to other people um, first of all I'm going to um, use the dash application which is already running which you can see here so if I'm starting everything there's the um, function which goes like um, the same like the plotly thing. I'm going to plot the timestamp and the value. I have some sensor data here. Um, you can also plot some, insert some uh, HTML um, thing to make it a little bit nicely. And then you can already see after app run server that the service already running here. When I'm starting this, you can see that this um, this view is already um, shot here in this dashboard and you can see how the data looks like it re looks really fami familiar like a plotly just in a web application um, after this you can what you can also do is so I have to stop this and then you can also let's say filter some stuff to make a drop down menu right so you want to make it a little bit more nicely like a real dashboard uh, you want to insert some drop down to make it, um, some kind of filtering and so on that's why i'm starting this year i'm just reloading everything and then i have my you can see i just played around a little bit with the black background i have here some drop down menu uh, where i'm starting here with the original uh, data and then if I put everything on the on the filter we can see that the first um, is first data set is missing of the time series and so on so on. you can filter everything out this the original signal and there we go there there you have some missing value so it's depending on your um, filter which you can um, adjust you can plot everything nicely after this, what you can also do is if you want to insert uh, multiple graphs, you can just start this here. I ins inserted just another um, second graph, which is basically just a copy of the first one. When I'm starting this, you can see um, there's the first graph and the second graph. So you can play around a little bit. You can make it uh, a little bit more nice you can make it smaller you can change the um, size of the of the graph and there you have multiply um, graphs in the dashboard so you can create your own dashboard for me I find it really uh, interesting and really uh, amazing how you can make your own dashboard open source you can just you know um, make it reusable um, just send the a link to your um, friends or in your project and then you can just use your own dashboards. So thanks for watching and see you soon.